Hi there, and welcome to the Digital Money Revolution program. Now, I'm going to be your host for this program. My name is Chris Coney, and I'm going to tell you my name every time we go to a new lesson, so you're not going to forget it. So this is just an introduction to give you an overview of the course. What I've got here is a lovely mind map of everything we're going to go through. So it's broken down into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine modules. Uh, the first one's the introduction. The last one is just a conclusion. So we're going to go through, first of all, the Bitcoin technology, because there are two aspects to Bitcoin. There's Bitcoin, the technology that supports the whole thing. And then there's Bitcoin, the currency and all the fantastic things that the network enables. So first one we're going to go through is Bitcoin technology. Then we're going to go through Bitcoin and currency. And in that module, we're going to take a trip through uh, some economic concepts, because the beautiful thing about Bitcoin is it brings together lots of different things. It brings together technology, it brings together the internet, and it brings together money and economics and how we live our lives around money. So we're going to look at, we're going to ask some more fundamental questions about money uh, that we may not have asked before because we just kind of take money for granted. And all of the rules and the laws that are supervising money, we don't really question them because we just use money on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's going to be a great module. Then we're going to go into uh, module four, which I've called why our current system is broken. If we've got a digital money revolution, why do we need one? There must be a problem with the existing system that I believe most people are not even aware of what the problem is. Um, and that's not good for them. And that's not good for you. It's not good for me. So I spell out in this module exactly why the current system is broken. So you can see how Bitcoin is a brilliant uh, innovation and a way potentially out of these problems. Then from that we'll go on to module five, which is on the more practical side of things. We'll go into Bitcoin wallets and you need a Bitcoin wallet in order to store your money, just like in the real world, right? After that, we'll go into uh, how you can support the Bitcoin economy. There are lots of different roles you can play within the Bitcoin economy, depending on how tech savvy you are, depending on what you want to do with Bitcoin. There are lots of different roles you can play. And you can play one, two, or all of the roles if you wish. So in that module, it's called, called Supporting the Bitcoin Economy. I'll explain the four or five different ways you can uh, interact with the Bitcoin economy and then choose which one or any that you would like to be. Then in the next module, we'll go how to get some Bitcoin. So now you, once you've got the foundational education, then we'll say, well, how do you actually acquire some of these Bitcoins? The reason I've left that module until quite late in the program is because this isn't like any other program where you're just learning how to do something like a skill. We're dealing with your money here. So until you've got a firm understanding of all of these base modules, I don't want you to start using Bitcoin until you understand what you're doing, because we don't want you to lose any money, which is why it would be nice to just get into the into the nitty gritty and start using Bitcoin from the beginning of the course. But I wouldn't feel comfortable with that without you having a proper understanding. So that's why how to get some Bitcoin is is the sixth module, I think it is. And then I'll give you lots of different ways you can get some Bitcoin for free. Um, I'll tell you about Bitcoin ATM machines and all kinds of things like that. Then after that, we go on to how to spend your Bitcoin and what can you do with it? So that's that module. And then finally, we'll go into a conclusion and what next steps you can take. So I'll let you actually, I think I'll attach this to the to this particular lecture so you can download the mind map. And then if you want, you can make notes on that or just follow along because it's nice to see the overview of everything that we're going to cover. And then you can see where we're at and how close we are to being you know, halfway through or how far you are away from completing the course. If you'd like to make notes, that's entirely up to you. Me personally, I know a lot of instructors say, you know, you must make notes, but I don't believe that. It's an individual choice. I personally, when I'm on courses, I don't make any notes because it just doesn't work for me. I, I much prefer to concentrate on the person who's teaching and I find I remember it much better that way than being distracted. That's my personal preference. That might not be your personal preference. It's entirely up to you. If you want to know how I created this mind map, it's a piece of software called iMindMap. And when I do sort of take notes, that's the only way that I do it, which is I have a mind map open. And when I hear something that's particularly piques my interest, I'll just map it on a mind map so I can look at it later on. And, you know, it just triggers memories from what I was concentrating on. Right. 
So that's the note making thing. One final point, which is very, very important. What's most important about this course is not the material that I've prepared for you. That's not important. The videos aren't important. You know, it's necessary, but that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is what you think as a result of what I say. Now that's important. You've got a wealth of knowledge and life experience already in your brain. So what's, everyone's gonna have a different experience. I'm gonna go through the same information because it's all pre-recorded. But what's most important, where the transformation is gonna come from for you, is in what you think as a result of the stuff that I teach. And, and I believe each individual student will think something different based on what I say. And that's where the real learning comes from. It's the distinctions you make and the new awarenesses and new, the new breakthroughs in thoughts that happen inside your mind as a result of what I say. So the course and my material is purely the stimulation to bring new lights of awareness into your mind. And that's where the real learning and the real value and the real transformation will come. So watch out for those aha moments when you get those eureka moments. That's really what I'm looking for. And if you get one of those, then I would really like to hear about it. So down the side here, you can put in the discussion for any individual lecture, you can put a comment in there. And then I'll see that and then I might reply. I'll actually, in, a, in the next lecture, I'm going to go and give you an orientation of how to actually navigate your way around the course. But this is just an introduction to give you an overview of the information, to tell you about the fact that it's important of what you think as a result of what I say. That was the really thing I wanted to get to. And uh, if you want to make notes, I mind map. you can create a nice mind map like the one I've just shown you. All right, that's it for the introduction. Let's move on to the next one, and we'll go into how you can download the course and then also how you can navigate your way around this lovely course. That's all for this lesson. Until then, it's bye for now.